Good afternoon, it's your deal for Zahir, hey, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have today, the Thursday, 21st of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the uh, Apple Play and the um, uh, Apple App Store and the Google Play Store as well. Okay, now let's see exactly where this uh, market uh, is heading. In terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly failing to uh, continue the rally in the US. US markets also failing to uh, continue the rally as well, post tax cuts being announced. So it certainly need, means that uh, obviously by the rumor sell the news type event thus far, post uh, tax cut, obviously legislation passing. Uh, US markets certainly were weaker overnight. You have the Nikkei weaker overnight as well, Shanghai more or less. Well, Shanghai and Hang Seng were higher, but you have the US markets certainly wilting and uh, certainly weaker overnight as well. Now, Dow Transport certainly did hit new highs, but the S&P, Dow Russell and Dow all strolling along with the Nasdaq as well. So let's see how the uh, the market plays out today. In terms of economic numbers this morning then, in terms of European markets, just quickly go through the numbers. You've had um, uh, UK house prices and consumer confidence, okay, certainly coming in potentially weaker. Let's just uh, confirm that. Sorry, UK conf consumer confidence coming in weaker, hitting a four-year low. Uh, BOJ monetary easing. Certainly um, uh, negating any talk of potential, um, obviously, uh, early exit there. In terms of CHF, you've got the uh, trade balance certainly on the weaker side. Uh, the uh, exports certainly better than the imports, certainly slightly weaker as well. So keep an eye on that. In terms of uh, 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 French business climate, again, coming in more or less in line. Uh, public sector net borrowing slightly improving there, so it should technically help the uh, Help sterling and therefore we see negate negate bearish for the FTSE. We are now waiting for jobless claims to come out at uh, half past one. Let's see how the market reacts to that uh, in terms of the next potential move. We also have uh, GDP numbers from the US, uh, Fed, uh, manufacturing data, personal consumption and, and uh, core uh, personal consumption. So that should, should be interesting. Canadian retail sales and then that really is it well, other than the European consumer confidence number that comes out. Now, the focus obviously has been post-tax cuts. Let's see how the markets are certainly interpreting that. Okay, so let's look at the German DAX, especially after yesterday's flush. German DAX certainly was under immense pressure yesterday. Now, that's uh, mainly due to the concerns regarding, number one, Poland. Obviously, number two, you've got um, you know, potential sanctions there. Talk of potential sanctions. You also have concerns with regards to the European Union as well. Uh, okay, potential talk of early exit, etc. Obviously, Draghi. Uh, certainly remains a factor and therefore that's obviously caused the euro usd to uh, certainly appreciate up to um, 1.880 i think the high was or 1.890 uh, and therefore obviously is bearish because the stronger euro certainly hurts export side of the equation so therefore that certainly is weighing on the uh, index as well so just bear that in mind in terms of european equities and as you can see here german dax certainly has flushed now you are looking for a potential hns top I've already highlighted this as well with the FIB 75% certainty holding. Moving on to the 60-minute chart. Now, again, this is another factor to keep an eye on. Uh, any potential retracement here now will be a potential shorting opportunity from my perspective. So as long as the euro remains afloat and remains strong, European equities certainly remain under pressure. So bear that in mind. In terms of the 10-minute chart of the German DAX, you can see that we've been making lower lows and lower highs. Uh, certainly finding or garnering support around the 13,000 level. Now, it's a question of whether that 13,000 level holds. That's the question. If you do push higher, then you are looking at resistance at 13,150. But European equities certainly remain under pressure. Number one, you've got Poland sanctions, a talk of sanctions there. Uh, Brexit uncertainty as well, especially with uh, one of the key cabinet members certainly being uh, sacked by Miss May, okay, or after he's been caught, obviously, uh, messing around on the internet in terms of... Um, uh, let's not refer to that anyway that's the situation there uh, further incompetency from the uh, obviously Tory party and again doesn't board well for Brexit talks going forward so it does reduce her potential bargaining power there uh, or even her respect okay so the French CAC certainly has bounced from the lows okay so French CAC certainly bouncing we are now into gap fill obviously close the gap you are now coming into resistance daily chart you want symmetrical wedge there uh, the lower high certainly has been registered on the French gangs. So European equities still remain under pressure. Obviously, we bounced from that gap fill there. Let's see if this uh, continues. So keep an eye on there in terms of the French CAC. Okay, moving on to the FTSE 100. Now, that has surprised me this morning, especially as it opened up below at around the 7510. And obviously, it's bounced ever since. And we've been powering ahead. You can see here the FTSE is taken out of key resistance at 7549. 
7555. Now the next resistance is 7560. Can we take that out? That's the query. That's the question. Now 7563 is a previous pivot high. Okay, so certainly looking for weakness on the FTSE from my perspective. Uh, certainly looking for HNS formation reversal that hasn't occurred. It's taken out that Fib 75%. So I'm just going to delete this for now. Okay, let's see how the uh, index uh, performs when we get to that key resistance at 7563. Okay, so that's basically the status quo at the moment in terms of the FTSE 100. Last but not least, quickly go to the Euro stocks. So Euro stocks certainly flushed as well thus far. Okay, certainly uh, under pressure as well. Any retracement now will still see resistance at th uh, 35.65. Watch out there. Okay, 60 minute chart as well. As you can see, we've been flushed. Certainly short squeezing for now, especially with the Euro USD now at the uh, key critical uh, juncture. We did put in a bombing tail this morning, so again, watch out there. Okay, uh, on the euro stock. So that's the status quo. So uh, from my perspective, um, European markets certainly uh, lackluster and weak. Uh, certainly hurt by stronger euro. Okay, hey, approaching that 1.19 handle, and it's certainly risk negative. Uh, and let's see what the uh, US obviously markets bring as well, especially given their some June NATO post tax cut obviously being passed. So the question is, has all good news been baked into the market? Okay, even with light volume in this. Uh, Seasonality that generally favours a bullish argument. Certainly, uh, markets are not uh, certainly taking advantage. So again, cause for concern there. Okay, either way, that's the uh, status quo then with regards to the markets. Certainly looking for further weakness on the FTSE. That's certainly one index I'm looking at in terms of political certainty and Brexit chaos at the moment, and that certainly is risk negative. Okay, so uh, again, looking for risk off. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus as well. Goodbye.